Ghost Library TV. Hello, my viewers. At home, my name is Oji Abi Ojela. Hmm. I have something special for you on this channel today. I want to educate us on how to script a Christian drama message. How do we script a Christian drama message? And this will be in series, please. I want you to follow me very carefully. Follow me very, very carefully. And very soon the handout will be out for sale by I mean PDF format on our website. The content to handle to deal with on this a uh, particular teaching, particular seminar. The first number one is drama and dramatic message. Number two, source of Christian drama message. Number three, receiving a message. Four, understanding a message. Five, story structure trend. Six, story structure division. Seven, scripting. Eight, key steps in scripting. Nine, qualities of a good Christian drama script. Ten, mood of a script or a script writer, a playwright. 11. Forms of mood switch. How do we switch? Then 12. Sketching main plot in scenes. Then uh, 12. Sketching subplot in scenes. Then 13. Confluence of plot. Then we will go into script exhibition. That is just the last. Yes. As regards the content. Under this topic, scripting a Christian drama message. How do we go about? Let's start. Drama and dramatic message. <laughs> it is a natural sense. In its natural sense, drama itself is imitation of life. In drama, we imitate life. If you ask me to act as a madman now, it means there is a madman somewhere I imitate. Or I have to imitate. You ask me to act as a manager, a director. It means I'm imitating somebody somewhere. Yes. And may I tell you, it is the community that gives back to drama. We study what is happening in our community, in our society. We write on it. Then we provide solutions. Yes, and it is supported by Ubat Ogunde. It's supported by Ubat Ogunde. But I want to go deep in defining drama. Drama is an organized, scripted story to be acted on a stage. Drama is organized. Scripted story to be acted on stage or in film. Yes, drama that is it. You write it, it is well organized. Yes, in writing the scripting, script it word for word. <laughs> you put direction as the action, the steppings into it. Yes, you put it into it. And that is drama. Drama, what is the source of message? Source of a message in Christian drama. God is the source of a message in Christian drama. God and God alone is the source of message, messages in Christian drama. But God has different means of revealing his mind to his people. I may I tell you, if there is anyone who wants to be a drama minister and is no good in hearing from God, you can't be one. It is not possible. You can't be one. Except you'll be writing your whole mind. Except you'll be writing what you see around you. In Christian drama, God is the source. But he has different means of communicating his mind to us. 
which means we have to be attentive. We have to open our mind. We have to be large hearted. Wind can be blowing, and God will use that wind that is blowing to communicate a dramatic message for you. You may sit on something, and that something make you fall, and God will just whisper into your mind. You may be traveling, you have roadblock. You may be traveling, you 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 encounter hold up, go slow. Maybe somebody attack you, you're being challenged. And uh, even God may communicate to you through dream. You may be inspired while studying scripture. God may give you deeper meaning of a message being preached by somebody else. God used diverse ways to communicate his mind. But we must know it is from God. God is the source of our message. Now I want to summarize it. How do we receive it? Number one. Summary of a message in dreams or in trance. Yes, summary in dream. You know, a dramatic message takes just, you know, two days, five days. I mean, in the storyline, you have days, we have months, we have years sometimes in the storyline. But all, everything in that story that, would, that covers about two, three, four, five years, ten years, we just be summarized. God can do it. Just summarize. Just give you summary of a message in the dreams or in trance. It has happened to me. I was in Federal Protechnic offer some years ago. I think my handy, yes, my handy days. I will just put my head under a program. I was a program was going on in the chapel. I was tired. I didn't have interest any longer in the program. I just rest I rested my head. On the table, and God will open my eyes. I saw a lady that put her head on a man's lap. I shocked. So God, what's this? And God said, on Delilah's lap. I quickly understand that God was giving me a message. Number two, my glimpse of a character, usually protagonist. That's number two. Number one is summary for message in dreams on a trance. Number two is mind glimpse. God just creates a, an imaginary person in your mind. You just have a mental picture of a character you've not known about. An idea about somebody you do not know just drop into your mind. That is God giving you a message. Number three. Mind glimpse of a title. A title just cross your mind. Like one day, I was about sleeping, and I heard something in my hearing. So, so, so. I look around, it, nobody was talking. I knew God was giving me a message. Number four, mind glimpse of an event. Event. Just maybe you sit down, you relax somewhere, even you are walking. And you just, you just kind of visualizing a story or event. Visualizing an event. If you are spiritually sound, you know God is giving you the message. Yes. Then my glimpse of an idea. Just idea. No idea. Just drop into your mind. An idea of events about somebody's life. About what can be the end of a particular thing? Or how can you make something to be achieved? That is it. Just an idea will drop into your mind. Another one, you have a deeper or another meaning of a saying. If somebody is just talking, like one day they were just singing when I was in fellowship, I wanna you a moba. And a question just came to my mind Are we all princess? Are we all prince and princess? Are we all prince and princess? She bobo wa lo mo ba lo kore lo bere. That I knew God was giving me the message. They were singing, "I wanna re o mo ba," and it came to my mind like a question. Yes, you can have a deeper or under meaning of a sin. 
And that one, hearing a word or statement directly from God, God can speak to you that this is it. This is the message I have for you. Then, the echoing of a word, statement, or an idea. Yes, maybe you read the Bible, or somebody says something somewhere. After relaxing, or you are going, you are no more there, and uh, the thing begin to re-echo, re-echo, re-echo. The people who said it are no more there, they just re-echoing, re-echoing, re-echoing. That is God speaking to you. Check it very well. Then the last one, spiritual interpretation of a circumstance. Spiritual interpretation of a circumstance. As what I said, maybe a wind is blowing, God may speak to you through it. You know, can you recall this popular song by our Father and the Lord? Ni I do O ye o ni o ye so I don't know. O deni ye ye. Tani ko magbarati o ye ni lawo. O rotom beni no re ni kasoni. Poti loro to be lo ni adoto. O la bara la tita e ni yapa. Hmm. Ni I do kun receive this message at car wash. At car wash. That is God. That is God. Okuoyi. Dead bills. From Pan Wan. And God spoke to him. That is also church. For you. They love Pan Wan. That is sin. And they are dead. <laughs> that is God. Spiritual interpretation of a circumstance. Then. How do you understand a message? After you've received a message, there are a few questions you need to ask. Yes, if you get the understanding of the message very well. The questions are these. What is the theme of the message? The theme of a message is the main subject. The coco de coco that God wants to communicate. Is a message about forgiveness? Is it about reconciliation? Is it about repentance? Is it on family? Is it on restitution? Your message must have a focus, must have a theme. You must find out, God, you are giving me a message. What is the theme? If you don't get the theme right, you will not have a correct message. Number two, is the message main plot or subplot? In some stories, we have just main plot. That's a story about a protagonist, a single man, or true. Some messages, some stories, some dramas. We have messages, we have story, we, we have different stories that join together, like Agbarala, you know Agbarala now. We have story of a uh, boss and a husband. We have the story of Isauru in the village. Eventually, they join together. The story of Bosse and her husband is support. It's just a supportive story to main story of Isauru. So you must have to find out this message. Is it to support the main story or is itself a main story? Number three, what is the realm of the event in the message? You need to find it out very well. The realm, you know, we have terrestrial as a physical word, we have spiritual realm. You must find out this message God is given to me is it at terrestrial, in the physical realm? This will help you in choosing your language correctly, it will help you even in designing the costume. For your cast. That is it. Number four. Who are the audience for the message? <laughs> that is very, very important. At the beginning of writing your message as a Christian drama minister, a Christian playwright, you must decide your audience. Yes. You must decide your... Each audience has its own language. The language you use for use is not the language you use for the early ones. The language you use for unbelievers is not the language you use for believers. 
Even among believers, we have different classes. So you must try to understand your audience very, very well. Yes, you must understand your audience. These are the four questions you have to ask. This is just elementary. Uh, number one, the team. Number two, the plot. Number three, the rain. Number four, the audience. Now, after you've done that, what is the next thing? That the story structure trend. You have to structure your story very well. Story your structure very well. Every drama, either playlet or a very lengthy one, starts from a weaker point and to begin to rise gradually to a very serious emotional point then to the point of conflict then gradually the story will be falling we have where we are having resolution and let me explain this to you very well. Because when you have received your message, the first thing you have to do after you've gotten the understanding of the message very well, you take your pen and you write, you write what we call outline, story outline or synopsis. Write story outline, scene one. So, 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 so happen. Scene two, so 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 happen. Scene three, so 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 happen. Like that. But as you are writing, you must make sure that your story is rising. Your story story must not be at the flat level. It is not good. It will not interest your viewers. It will not glue down your audience. Your story must be rising. And how will it rise? It must rise from what we call exposition or introduction. Exposition. Nibiti Atifi uh, protagonist. You, you expose, you introduce your protagonist. You tell us the main characters in the story. That is scene one, scene two, scene three. But this scene one, scene two, and scene three you must have exposed the story to us. Then gradually you move from exposition to complications or rising actions. At complication, you introduce conflict. You introduce crisis. Because the strength of a dramatic message is crisis and conflict. Any story that has no conflict, no crisis, it is not dramatic. It is not dramatic. So you've exposed the protagonist, the antagonist. That is, the protagonist is the main man that carries the message. The main man that this message is all about. The main man that is in the center of the message. The protagonist is the opposition, the opponent. There must be need to create complication need to create complication complication is the crisis the beginning of crisis the beginning of crisis now you now go to the next level that is the climax at the climax that is where the two opponents the two parties face each other face to face. At climax, nobody will be able to predict the end of that drama if it is a well-scripted, well-planned story. The climax. The climax that nobody will be able to just decide who will win, who will overcome each other. Then, gradually, you go to falling actions or the complication. At the falling action, some good audience can be predicting this will happen, that will happen, this will happen, that will happen. Then the last one is denouement or 
resolution resolution where we have the hand of the story the protagonist will overcome or the the protagonist will bow for the antagonist or the protagonist will die but there must be an end and if protagonist dies there must be reason if protagonist overcome the antagonist there must be reason so next class on this channel ghost library tv i will take you to scripting and it will be practical fully practical number one is story structure division exposition one two complication three climax four the complication of falling action five denouement or resolution till next time my name is sojia biojela kindly subscribe to this channel like it and share it god bless you ghost library tv